Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is your girl, Julie Silka Lundry on Julie Sil Radio Live every Wednesday, where I show up on this podcast to show you just how you can make money online. And today we are talking about a very, very, very important topic. If you want to save time, if you want to save time, in your day-to-day business or career, you want to pay attention because you want to do this. If you want to save yourself time and you're running your, um, say you're running your business online or offline, then you want to do this. If you are an internet marketer, if you are a network marketer, you absolutely want to tune in to today's training. So before we, you know, without further ado, I'm just going to uh, invite some of my friends to this broadcast, to this podcast, so that we can have a rolling, rolling party here today. Uh, at you in patience, good to see you, Chimba, Jimmy, good to see you guys. Somehow, my computer is not showing me the people that are joining, while my phone is showing me exactly who's joining. Anyway, welcome to episode 16 of the Julie Seal Radio where I empower the entrepreneur in you to rise and shine to awesome destiny, uh, package your offers, target the right people, get paid on purpose. On Wednesdays, we do an audio, which we call a podcast. And on Wednesday, we talk about making money. And, and today I'm going to share with you just how you can make that happen. Because without this skill, without this one skill, you are paddling up a ravine you're paddling up a, a, a waterfall and you know how that's not really possible you can paddle down a waterfall but paddling up a waterfall well nothing is impossible with a man and with god but I, it's really hard paper so most people want to start a business online want to start a business offline but mostly when you come online there's this one thing you want to do there's this one thing you want to do because it helps you navigate the spaces easier. It helps you qualify and determine needs easier and faster. It helps you to, to, um, to move your business forward and to know your numbers. Very, very important. That last bit, knowing your numbers. So if you're, if you have joined me today here live, I'm going to ask you one thing. Number one, hit an emoji. So I know you're here. Number two, tag a friend. In the comments below number three guess what it is you have to do to save time just guess before you go any further and if you're watching the replay do exactly the same tell me what it is you need to do in order to save time in your business because this this then shows that you know what you're about this would show that you know what you are doing and therefore you 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 are you are in the right place and uh, that also shows you that you are that you just have to be patient with you you already are doing the right things it's it's important to know that isn't it if you know what you're doing and you're already doing it then you don't need to to, to run around headless and worry about what you're doing because you're already doing it right so let me ask you a question my ipad is on uh, the we are on the website literally on the ipad live on the on the ipad but it is not updating so let's just move that out the way and uh, we shall do the needful later okay so joseph kuluziza kuluziza i think i've said your name right i hope i have welcome to this broadcast as you join hit an emoji that's how a you 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 report your presence number two that's how i know you are here and facebook also knows that you're doing something that is helping you right that that you're doing something that's interesting that there's something interesting at julie seals and so it spreads the message further so you're helping me spread this message to those that are in need of it as well and that is something that i really really would appreciate and if you're in a group I would absolutely be very, very grateful if you shared as well. Again, that helps me to know. Um, it helps me to know who is on board with me, 
who is here to learn and to grow and who is here to just copy content and move on and go and go do the same and claim it for their own that is there too you know guys that is there too it is the truth honestly i'm not joking i i attended a live one day and somebody was saying the exact things i'd said a couple of days before uh and i was like oh well uh, if they copy you that's a good sign it's a good sign when people are copying you it's a good sign so be flattered and be excited that there are people out there who are who are copying you in fact get worried if no one's copying what you're doing if no one's copying what you're doing that's when to get worried and if you don't have any haters ah you are not shifting anything you're not moving things around but i also believe in the power of grace and uh, if we do good to others good comes back to us and so with that i tend to ignore the um the haters and the naysayers and people who go around uh not giving uh, not attributing and i say you know to each their own so what i'm gonna share with you is something i learned from a resource called rifa and uh, rifa is a platform online where you can join it's a free platform by the way and i'm not promoting it i'm just saying it's a platform that you can go if you are um if you are a business owner if you're a careerist with a mission if you're say if you work in the marketing department of your company you might want to consider a, a, a resource called refer.com where you can go and basically um, help yourself and uh, register so that you can so that you can also start to refer people to uh, to your services in your company and to grow your network and to grow your customer base i think they have a, they have a free option and then they have a paid option that's about ten dollars a month I'm not sure it's not something i promote i'm just sharing with you where i get some really truly amazing referrals for my business without having to spend hours on facebook or or you know chasing chasing this that, and the other instead i spend that time with my family and children and enjoy time with them because uh time is is, is very very precious so the thing that you should be doing in order to move things forward is communication yes and if you're watching the replay thank you i absolutely adore you that you are watching this replay or tuning in yes tuning in so i urge you to tune in right to the end because i'm gonna explain to you what it all means and why i say communication is your key to a buying back your time number two increasing your results uh, most business owners especially in the online space especially internet network marketers are shooting themselves in the foot um when they think that communication is something that's so hard because communication is something that's natural. We humans are social creatures. Hey, Olivia, how you doing? Good to see you here. We are social creatures and therefore we have no problem chatting with the neighbor next door. We have no problem chatting with the, with the mother at the school gate as we take our kids off to school. We have no problem chatting with uh, the person we are sitting to is sitting next to on a bus or in a taxi. You know, we can start a conversation with that person. But when it comes to business communication, for some reason, we start to struggle. We start to actually overthink things. We, 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 get, we get sweaty. We, we get really anxious. Um, if you've been for interviews for a job before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We get anxious because that's a business transaction for you. You are looking for a contract and you are going to be the executive of your job. In other words, you're going to be the CEO of your job because you have to treat your job like it's a business if you don't that's why you're not getting a promotion but that's a topic for another day and um, i talked about that last year i think so if you go through my videos you might find the right video anywho for some reason when it comes to business communication we struggle and that means less sales less clients a decrease in revenue and an increase in costs because the more you spend money on your business without bringing back that money in profit the more you're increasing the cost because you're paying more than you're bringing in so according to a report that i read um sometime last year i think it's the homes report the average revenue lost per year for for not speaking out is twenty six thousand dollars for a company 
And for a small company, that would be a lot of money. And trust me, you can spend that company, that money in a year, even though you're a solopreneur. And that's down to poor communication or you are holding yourself back and you're not communicating your, mes yourself, your, your message better. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. I love your, you're inspired. I love that. So I, I assume you're going to go out there and grab all the, all the amazing resources that I share and you're going to run with it because this is your year. So what can you do to communicate better? Because when you do communicate better, you're going to get better results in your workplace. You're going to smash that interview. You're going to smash that interview with your client. Now, for those of you that are in internet marketing, business marketing, you know, um, marketers, MLM, this is your real, this is what, this is where the rubber meets the road, right? Because the more people you talk to, the more people that are going to take a look at your business information and the more people that are going to say yes or no to you, both are good answers so that you can move on and serve the next person who's ready to be served. How are you doing, Brenda Hill? Good to see you here. Thanks, Nachi Emba, for tagging Sumaya. So let's look at the career side. Uh, we all get bombarded with emails. Oh, my goodness. Every time I open my email, I find another ton of 100, 200, sometimes 300 emails a day and that could be me running down that route and forgetting that I, I came to this email for a specific email i hope you do I, I don't i hope you don't open your email just to browse i hope you open your email looking for a specific email you find it you get you go action it and you go off but we get caught up checking our emails and uh when you're in the workplace which is why i said i give you a career example Instead of walking to the person, maybe they are down the corridor, maybe they're in the same room and they're just on the other side of the room, you send them an email. And uh, when you send an email, it is impersonal. It is impersonal. You have, you have removed the personal touch. Although your, your email goes with your energy, it is very easy for the other person to read the, to misread the energy behind that email and misunderstand your message completely and be completely, and be, and be completely put off by your email when they could be uh, listening to you in person, getting your excitement, grabbing onto your energy, understanding where you're coming from and signing up with you. Good morning, good afternoon, Patricia. How are you doing? Good to see you here. So instead of sending an email to somebody, if you are in the same location as them, if you're in the same uh, local area, if you're in the same building, especially for you who work together in your careers, you absolutely need to walk towards them, make an appointment to meet them in person and have that conversation. Don't let something like communication cost your company money because that $26,000 of pounds could be your salary. They could remove you because you are, you, you are replaceable. You are completely replaceable in your workplace. So if you're not communicating right and you're that person who's sending emails and, and hiding behind the digital world in order to not communicate, you are basically allowing yourself to be in a position where you are replaceable. So when communicating with people, if you're a business owner, you need a different approach. You need a different strategy. Um, remember that your prospects and potential clients get bombarded with emails i've just given you a taste of how many emails i receive every blessed day just because i am i am a blog owner i am a website owner uh, so there are lots of people who are sending out either outreach emails wanting to blog or to guest post on my blogs wanting to collaborate wanting god knows what wanting to work for me and wa wanting to work with me and so I have to be very strategic as to what emails I open. And that means I'm working on my communication because communication is the art of knowing what to communicate to who. So I like to touch best with the people that I, I literally believe they are the people I'm here to serve on this planet. I like to touch base with them. If I can get them on social media, especially a platform like Facebook, I like to literally get into your messenger and talk to you. Now, messenger could be the email kind of thing. 
But when I get to Messenger, I literally invite you to have a chat with me. I invite you to uh, have a call with me so we can get the message out the way, get the get the all the all this toing and throwing out the way, and literally get the message out and see what we can do together. That's what you should be doing if you're a marketer, if you're a business owner. Um, more than that, you also remove the overwhelm option where people are inundated with emails, and instead you reach out to a person and make an appointment to talk to them make an appointment to talk to them hey tanya how you doing good to see you here right so talk to people send a voice note your a voice note goes with your energy if i'm talking like this on a voice note hi tanya how you doing you'll be like what's wrong with julie but if i send you this message on the voice note and i'm going hey tanya how are you doing good to hear from you today okay today i was running around late and i've just seen your message but i definitely i'm gonna get back with you in the meantime how soon can we talk i've got uh friday at 3 or monday morning at 10 15 a.m we can talk and we can catch up and you and i can talk now I would be assuming that Tanya and I are going in a certain direction. I've determined that they need something from me. I can deliver that something. They are also looking for that service and I can deliver that service. So I've qualified Tanya. I've determined their need and I'm wanting to take that conversation further. Instead of going to and froing with messenger messages, I would either call them out on a voice call, or send them a voice note, or basically just pick up that messenger phone icon and click call and if they are free they'll talk to me if they're not free they'll ignore the call or they'll just tell me julie i am busy i'm driving i am this i'm that and can you call me later can you call me tomorrow can you call me give me a time communication when you talk to people it's very rare that they will be so rude as to put you off mind you there will be some people who are definitely going to be rude and they'll, they'll tell you where to go and that's okay that's okay guys because we want to be so loved we want to be validated so much we think that everybody and anybody loves us and the reality is there are people out there who are hurt and they're looking to hurt others so you could be in their in their angle of shooting and if you come before them in their messenger oh my goodness you've just given them a free free way to shoot you uh, there are people who silently are envy you and on that day you may be reaching out to them and they are literally not in that right place mentally and they could literally shoot you down there are people who are naturally negative minded and all they do is look at the negative things in their life and they will try to shoot you down as well if you know that 80 percent of the people you're gonna talk to are gonna be in some form of place like that and they're not gonna be ready right now this hot minute to take action on what you're offering you will find that you are basically you will find that you are mentally ready for their response and therefore you are not attached to what they say or get back with you with the important thing is they get back to you and you know whether to put a little cross on their name or put a little note on their name that today on the 6th of february when i spoke to, we spoke with patricia she wasn't in a good place get back with her in three months time and see how she is see that's how you grow your business you make sure you're proactive you have your numbers and you're going through your numbers oh i'm glad you're okay tanya oh my goodness facebook is slow these days to bring the messages up and uh and thank you for inspiring me to show up as well tanya good to see you here again good to see you here so at kalunji group we understand the importance of communicating with our clients with our potential clients with our fans and followers and by the way usually when i post something in the morning i'm going to talk about it in the afternoon if i'm on a live that day a lot of people think that when they are growing a fan base that their fans follow them but if you are savvy and if you are tap tapped in and tuned into your audience you know that your you follow your followers because there is no leader without followers if I was sat here talking to myself every day, in about two to three months, I'd be, sh I'd be shutting down the show. If I sat down here and once I'm done with the show, there are zero views, there are zero shares, there are zero comments, there is zero likes. Basically, I'm talking to myself. I either am narcissistic and I don't care talking to myself 
or I'm deluded and I don't realize that I'm talking to the wrong audience, uh, which many times when you're on Facebook, you're talking to a lot of people that have nothing to do with what you're, you're sharing. And so they pop on, listen to you and pop off because you, what you're saying is not what they're looking for that day. They are looking maybe for some drama, some gossip, something to, 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 to reduce their stress and you are not it for the day. And that's okay as well. Embrace that. Like I said, we at Kalunji Group understand the importance of communicating with our potential clients, with our customers, and how easy it is to forget to touch base with people. If you do not touch base with people, you kind of lose contact with them. You, you create a gap where there is no bridge between you and them. When you are in constant communication with people, then there is there is a bridge and therefore you can cross it back and forth or you can remove the bridge. It's one of those movable bridges. And so you, you break communication with that person. And uh, when you build what we spoke about on Monday, if you joined me on Monday, I, st I spoke about that thing that you need to build relationships between you and the people that you want to serve. And if you didn't watch the Monday video, then go on over to my videos. Go to Julie Seal Live episode number 199. So it is Julie Seal Live 199. That is what it's called. And you can tune in and you will know exactly what is that one thing you need to be doing in order to build bridges between you and each and every single one of your customers or potential customers because that's how you build the no like trust factor. And that's how they get to know the person behind the brand and they get to know the person behind the message and they get to start to look up to you in that area as the person they want to work with, as the person they want to work with. Hey, Kenneth, how are you doing? Good to see you here. So when you're only communicating with someone every couple of weeks, it is easy to let something slip through the cracks. Um, but if you are communicating on a regular basis for instance i communicate at least four times a week with my with my people with my tribe with my subscribers i don't like calling them subscribers but that's the word that's used in the in the digital lingo i communicate at least four times a week with my subscribers and i let them know what's going on in the digital world i let them know what's trending i let them know what's going on in the kalunji group world and i also share what's working for us and every Friday, I wrap it all up in a juicy five-star weekly recap. So if you miss everything, or, or, and, and, and guess what happens? I get more people opening my emails every Friday than every single day of the week because most people have now learned to trust that every Friday, they are going to receive a full Friday recap. They're going to receive a, a list of the things I talked about during the week. And they definitely are going to, they don't have to have to worry whether they miss the email and look for it all over their email inbox. They'll, they'll receive a whole juicy full email on Friday. And many people actually binge read their emails on weekends. And, and therefore, if you're one of them, if you, and you're, you're in my tribe, you will find that you receive a whole list of what, was happening during the week on the Friday. So communicating is very, very important. And, uh, and one of the resources that we use that helps us really do that is a resource called Aweber, which I can add in the description so that you can take a look at it. And so that allows you to not let anything slip through the, the cracks. Sometimes I communicate twice in a day because I've seen something that's really touched my soul and I hope there's someone in there that would actually understand what I'm saying and would take inspiration from it. So I send an email. But when I do that, I almost always apologize before I write what it is. I say, I know I don't normally write twice in a day. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't like to bombard your email with messages, but this is something that I thought you might want to see. So it is easy to manage your trusted relationships by automatically uh, generating what they need and sending them, sending it to them. You don't have to be sat on your PC all the time. Everything I send out from Monday to Friday has been actually scheduled, put in, and, and ready to go on Saturday. Can you believe that? On Saturday, I set my 
emails inside of my autoresponder, which I've told you the name of, and it goes out automatically. I automate what's important. And communication is one of those things that you can automate, especially with people that are like miles away from you. But you then add the personal touch by reaching out to people if you are connected with them on social media and having that conversation with them so that you move them off the fence into the yes or the no, both are easy answers on your ears. You really should have no problem with a no because you say no to so many things every blessed day. And so if somebody says no to you, they're not saying no to you, you, you. Yeah, they're not saying no to Kenneth. They're not saying no to Tanya. They're saying no to the offer to the product, to the service you're giving to them. Uh, because they'd really, most people don't know you as a person enough to be so mean as to say no just because they're saying no to you. It's usually because they're not ready for the offer, they're not ready to buy, their circumstances are wrong, life is happening to them at that moment as opposed to for them, and so they don't see the trees for the forest and your product came in at the wrong time. So, reach out to people, touch base with your people, touch base with your contacts, reach out to them and say hello. If you've got their number, say hello. Don't forward these WhatsApp things that, that clog people's phones up and completely fill them up. No. Send them a personalized message. Say hello with a personalized message if you know someone in person. And if you know someone professionally, be sure to send them something that will serve their needs and help them move forward every blessed day. And so I hope that you understand this if you are in the business or you're a savvy corporate person communication and communication is a land science you learn it i mean after all no one comes into this world speaking we cry we open our mouths and goo 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 ga 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 like babies do but we do not know how to speak we learn different languages because we copy other people we copy what they say and so we speak it back and we mirror what they say and so communication is one of those things you learn how to communicate you polish your message you polish your voice you polish your actions and you start to reach people more and more and if you're in the business space and you're a marketer and you're an entrepreneur you're a business owner and your message is not reaching people beyond social media then you need to get into a place where you can learn how to communicate better, polish up on your communication, and, and connect with other people who are on the same journey as you. Um, at the moment, we've closed for February, but if you want to know when we are open, if you want me to communicate with you effectively and let you know when we are open, then you want to consider uh, checking out the mastermind where we teach people every day how to communicate we talk to your mind we talk to your spirit we talk to your marketing we talk to your strategy we talk to your techniques we give you hacks we tell, we tell you what's trending you are with other people who are just as driven as you are and they are ready to change their year and if you're ready to change your year i challenge you to come speak with me in my messenger let's set up a date you and i on zoom online and if you're in my local space i just might meet up with you and buy you a coffee and let's talk about your strategy for this year otherwise you also have the option to check out kalunjigroup.com forward slash dream at the moment we are closed we're not taking in any new people but we will be open towards the end of this month and you will be among the first ones to know i'll let you know personally that we are ready and you can come in and learn how to communicate to your people. And if you want to share this broadcast with somebody, absolutely feel free. <laughs> Go right ahead. And uh, when you're communicating with people in your office, for those of you that work in offices or your client, uh, be sure to walk up to them and talk to them as opposed to sending them a cheeky email. That brings your energy to the conversation it brings your tonality to the conversation it brings your intention to the conversation as opposed to a dry email because it can be misread and misunderstood if you are a marketer absolutely pick up that phone that messenger that whatsapp that whatever skype zoom whatever means you communicate with a person voice to voice and let them hear your voice and the energy and the excitement and the joy and the, and the sheer love you have to serve them so that they can actually respond to that energy as opposed to 
the the dry words you would send by email absolutely once you have had a word with them bring them into your ecosystem automate further conversations by you know you would be communicating through your email then but they will be opening your email eagerly because you have touched their personal person you have touched them emotionally you've spoken to them and they know you better than that person they met online who's whose uh, newsletter they signed up for because they were looking for a specific piece of information and therefore they really don't know them and so they don't really open their emails okay so i'm sorry olivia you have a bad network phoebe 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 how you doing oh fabi no it's fabi not phoebe so communication takes the guesswork out of things because you are talking to a person automating that communication makes it easier for you to reach people who are in places you can't reach physically and uh, when you communicate the right way which is an app form you will be making your 2019 lit you will be like you saying both streaking across the finish line ranking up getting more sales in getting more customers in and definitely having a better year than you did last year so i hope you've learned something if you are a marketer you should be doing this what is it i've told you what it is it will save you time it will save you headaches it will save you stress that's what it will save you so rise and shine to awesome destiny you know you want to if you want to uh, hear more amazing value go to my podcast on itunes your power echoes with julie seal or go to soundcloud for the same juice your power echoes with julie seal and uh, tune in subscribe so others can know the value you are getting because when you subscribe more and more people are shown what what value we've got and absolutely share your insights in the comments below tell me what it is you want me to talk about next wednesday if you have something you want me to talk about next wednesday or if you have a question definitely drop it in the comments below or bring it to my inbox or come join me live on friday so i can share with you answer your question and help you move closer to where you want to be this year we are in february don't be the person that hopes, be the person that does, because the difference between might and should, do you know what that difference is, guys? It is the life you want and the life you have. This is something Tony Robbins said. God bless you. How are you doing, Maureen? We are done here. Thank you for joining me, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Share this broadcast with somebody. Uh, let them know there's something amazing they might want to tune into and have an amazing afternoon. Bye for now.